So this is an interval graph. It's kind of a special graph, so let's just go over this. So your domain and range, um, your domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Can you see that on this graph that every single um, x value, all of these x's are part of the graph, all of those, all of those, there is, even though it's breaking up or it's stepping up to the next line, you know, this um, x equals 1 is not included in this graph right here, or this line right here, but it does pop up to this one. So, and there's there's no space in between on the x-axis. So every single x is included on this graph, and this graph does continue on forever and ever. There's no place to really put arrows, so we just assume that when we see these interval graphs that it does continue on. So our range are our y values. Well, because it does not include all of the spaces in between, so it doesn't include like 0.5 or 0.7 or 1.3 or 2.4, so all it only is including, you know, your your whole well, your um, whole numbers on this positive side and down here. So we describe that as the set of integers. And I know this is unusual to describe it like this, but there's really no better way to describe it than other just saying that the the y values are the set of integers, and that's what the, exactly what that says. So now I want to do my x-intercept. So where is this graph crossing the x-axis? So it is, cr or touching the x-axis. So it is cr touching, excuse me, the x-axis between 0 and 1 and everything in between. So this is going to be an interval, and it is the interval from 0 to 1. And I put a square bracket at 0 because it, um, is, it includes 0, that's that filled-in circle, but when it gets to 1, it pops back up, so it does not include, it gets very close to 1, but doesn't include 1. So my y-intercepts, so it is only touching the y-axis at 0. So my y-intercept is 0, it's only touching at one place. Um, and then my, um, where is it increasing, decreasing, or constant? Okay, so um, e remember increasing is kind of when we're talking about lines that sort of go on this upward mobility here, and there is really no um, increase at all. It's not increasing um, in that manner. So there is, excuse me, there is no increase and there is no decrease. It is not going up or down. But what you have is a whole bunch of sets of constant values. So I'm going to start describing them. And what I'm going to do is just do dot, 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 and I'm going to say, okay, so from negative 1 to 0, it is constant. From 0 to 1, it is constant. From 1 to 2, it is again constant. From 2 to 3, it is constant. And then I can just do dot, dot, dot. Okay, so you just have to, you just want to indicate that you understand that, you know, these are, there are a bunch of um, constant, you know, constant planes right here but then I'm putting them together in set form.